Good morning, everyone. Welcome to SA Coder. Here is today's problem of the day is fraction trouble. Consider the set of irreducible fraction a equal to n upon d, where n is less than equal to d and d is less than equal to ten thousand, and GCD of n comma d is one. You are given a member of this set, and your task is to find the largest fraction in this set less than the given fraction. And uh, this is a set, and all members are unique. Okay. Now we have to find a member of this set such that such that the largest fraction. To find the largest fraction and less than the given fraction also. Okay. Here we will declare a globally numerator and denominator in numerator equal to minus 1 and denominator equal to you may take any number firstly such that numerator upon denominator is less than 0 okay now we will take a loop for int i let's suppose y equal to d plus 1 and d less than 10,000 as per given constraint 10,000 and sorry it's y not d and y plus plus here is y here is y is our temporary denominator temporary denominator okay and we will start from d plus 1 d plus 1 because uh, because we we have to find largest fraction largest fraction but is smaller than the given is smaller than the given function given fraction if 1 upon 2 is our given given numerator and denominator then if we proceed from 3 it will surely less than 1 upon 2 okay now we will declare locally numerator x equal to n into y whole upon d here listen now x upon y is our locally numerator upon denominator and somewhere around y uh, y upon d no 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 n upon d here is also okay so we so we can say that x is our locally numerator because y is transferred to here n into y okay n into y upon d now proceed further here we have numerator and denominator but we have to check one more condition if gcd of x comma y equal to 1 then only we may perform another operation such that but we have to check also one more condition 1 to 0 into x upon y is also greater than our globally declared numerator upon denominator if this condition is will true then only we will update our globally numerator and denominator numerator equal to x 
and denominator wait a second denominator equal to y okay now we will have we have numerator and denominator let's declare a vector of a vector of int answer such that answer dot push back equal to numerator and answer dot push back equal to denominator and return answer let's compile and run okay let's submit oh now here also if we have two two only element in vector then we will then we will also return as return numerator and denominator let's now submit fine okay so like and subscribe my channel